5 o'clock in the morning and it's 36 degrees. It's a bit chilly. My nose is running. It's just my toes are just frozen. You won't believe how many layers I have on. Let's go, let's go, L-E-T-S-G-O, let's go, let's go, L-E-T-S-G-O. It's funny, the things that you remember when you were a kid. I was a cheerleader in high school and some of the some, some of the cheers you remember. Uh, are we gonna get a green? Guess he's gonna go. And I put my jacket on this morning and forgot to close the nine vents that I have in it. <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear me. I've got my bala balaclava on. And it's, I had on like two scars. And so my mouth is covered. So it's probably hard to hear me. It's a very patriotic truck. What is it? Oh, Budweiser. No wonder. Oh, my hands are cold. And I had to bring my tank bag because in the afternoon it's supposed to get up to the 80s. So I gotta bring home all my layers to use them again tomorrow. My goodness. Why do I do this? You wanna know why? I'll tell you why. Because it's fun. It's much more fun to ride your bike to work than sitting in a car, I'll tell you that much, especially since we can lane split here. The other nice thing about coming to work this early is you get to see all the stars if it's clear, which it is. It's so cool. Oh, my hands aren't cooperating. <laughs> I'm wobbling around like a drunk person on a bike. Put it in neutral, back into my spot, it's 513, and it's up to 42 degrees, right on. And now it's the afternoon, and it's 78 degrees, yeehaw. And the first person in to work after me was the, the CO. And before he even went to his office, before he even sat down, he uh, came in my office and said, dude, you're legit. <laughs> I think he was saying that because he said he's a fair weather rider. He used to ride a long time ago before he started having kids. And he says that he only rode when the weather was warm because this morning it was like 34 all the way up to 44 at different points and last week when I ow, rode in it actually got down to 32 so it was a bit chilly I must say do you guys have company Christmas parties that you have to plan for now? usually have a, a dinner at some god-awful restaurant where all the spouses come and everybody gets extremely drunk. I don't usually go. I just don't, uh, I'm not a party person and I don't really I don't really want to go to those. But this year they're having a lunch, which is, I don't, I don't know if it's just because they're saving money or what, but I'll go to that. I know people are still gonna drink and then drive home, but lunch seems easier because I live an hour away from here 
for work and they usually have the dinner like in this in the same area so who wants to drive an hour home in rush hour and then turn around and drive back in rush hour and, it, <laughs> and then not drink at this party and then go all the way home and that oh, shifting sucks I'm sorry dude what are you doing seriously There's too many drunk people on the road these days. And I see those people at work every day, so it's no big deal.